From the diamond oceans of Neptune to the waters that are scattered across the moons of various planets and more, allow us to show you some of the most mind-boggling oceans that exist in space. Number 10. The Diamond Oceans of Neptune and Uranus Depending on what you believe, there are either 8 or 9 planets in the solar system that includes Earth. Either way, though, two of the outer planets that we have only seen through probes and satellites are Uranus and Neptune. These are gaseous planets that most would think wouldn't be capable of having any oceans at all. But you would be wrong in that assumption, because not only do they each have oceans, they technically have oceans that are comprised of diamonds. How is this possible? It has to do with the composition of the planets themselves. Mainly beneath the gaseous planet's atmospheres are bodies of water, and within them are mantles made up of water, ammonia, and methane ices. On the surface, that wouldn't mean much. However, both of these planets exert an enormous amount of pressure. And not just that, they're under pressure while the temperature ranges between 1,727 degrees Celsius, 3,141 degrees Fahrenheit, and 4,727 degrees Celsius, 8,541 degrees Fahrenheit. When you mix those elements, the methane breaks up into the components that make it up as a whole, one of which is carbon. And when carbon is under enough pressure, it creates diamonds. But here's the twist. Because of the location, heat, and pressure, there are actually two kinds of diamonds roaming around in those oceans. Hard diamonds and liquid diamonds. The diamonds that are formed in the pressure of the planet are eventually melted down and sink towards the mantle. So there's a layer of hard diamonds and then a layer of liquid diamonds. Some even speculate that Neptune and Uranus have diamond bergs due to the heating and pressure. It's quite a visual and no doubt some would want to go and get these diamonds to try to make a fortune, though they'd have to wait until we can actually reach those oceans. Another theory about these unique oceans is that the weight of the diamond oceans are what have offset the axis of both planets, so this could be the reason that Uranus is on such a funny tilt. Number 9. The Magma Oceans of Io From an ocean of diamonds, we now move to arguably the hottest oceans in our solar system. But it's not a planet that has this, but the moon of Io. To those that know the moon, this won't be that much of a surprise because Io is the most active moon in our solar system due to it having over 400 volcanoes on its surface. Now that could be fine if they weren't constantly erupting, but that's exactly what happens. The moon is very much plagued by the eruptions of these volcanoes and then it goes even larger in that there are lava flows ransacking the moon. Which brings us to our mind-boggling ocean, because instead of hardening after a while, like most lava does, the position of Io in relativity to Jupiter and nearby moons makes it so that the lava stays in its liquid state. As such, there are indeed oceans on Io that are liquid hot magma. Why? Because the planet gets a lot of internal and external heat, to the extent that it's piping hot all the time, so thus the magma can't cool down. It's also basically an electric generator of a moon and is able to have so much energy within it that it can go and cause lightning to happen in Jupiter's atmosphere. In short, these aren't the kind of oceans that you want to take a dip in. Number 8. Pluto's Nuclear Ocean Pluto, it's a planet. Don't let anyone tell you different. But because of its distance from the Sun, you'd very likely think that anything but ice on Pluto is impossible. It's so far from the sun that heat reaching it is basically impossible, and thus its surface temperature is at times minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So ice is definitely possible, but how is an ocean? That would be because this particular ocean is under the surface of the planet, and it gets heated by a very unexpected source. Like many other planets in our solar system, radioactive elements lie beneath Pluto's surface, specifically uranium, potassium-40, and thorium. As they enter the process of radioactive decay, they emit heat, a heat that is more than powerful enough to melt the icy layers of the planet and go keep it in a liquid state. Yes, you heard that right. Pluto may have a nuclear ocean underneath its surface. Yes, this is still only a theory based on certain things we know about Pluto, but it is something very curious for sure, and it would line up with certain other things Pluto is known for, 
And perhaps that's why they got rid of Pluto as a planet. They didn't want any more nuclear planets in the solar system. Before we continue, be sure to like or dislike the video and subscribe to the channel. That way we can continue to try and make the best videos possible for you, the viewers. Number 7. Kepler-62e's Ocean World If you've been studying space for a long time, then you'll know that many people are looking for potential habitable planets for humanity to go and live on one day. One of those planets is potentially Kepler-62e, a planet that orbits a red dwarf star. The reason this planet and one other nearby has a lot of people's attention is because this planet resides in the habitable zone, meaning that with its position to the sun, there is potential for water and thus potential for life. Now, before you go and pack your bags to Kepler, there are a few things to note. The biggest of which is that Kepler is far away and impossible for us to reach right now. But the other is that this may truly be a world with a global ocean. How is that different from Earth? because the Earth has land masses and massive oceans. But early looks at Kepler-62e is that the planet is a true water world with no overt land masses. Of course, this is slightly speculation as we haven't gotten the chance to look at it closely, but many believe that this is the case. If so, this would truly be something nice to look at, and yet not exactly a place to live in, yet. Number 6. Kepler-22b's Life Ocean What's that? Another Kepler planet? Why, yes, it is. Kepler-22b is another planet that many think could be a special planet. Except unlike the last one, they think this one is one that we might be able to actually live in. Or perhaps even more accurately, have life there right now. Exactly. This is a planet that many scientists speculate already have life within the oceans of the planet. Which, if you recall, the theory of evolution states that all life starts in the waters of a world and then grows onto land. And by that token, that would mean this planet is something that we as humans are able to go and live on one day. The problem? Well, it's 600 light years away. And that causes a problem because a lot of this is just speculation and theory based on the few images we have seen since locating the planet a long time ago. But as some have noted, there is still reason to have hope for this. Natalie Batala, Kepler Deputy Science Chief, said it's not beyond the realm of possibility that life could exist in such an ocean. Number 5. Enceladus's Underground Life Ocean Nope, we're still not done showing you oceans that could have life. But this one is a twist on the formula because it's an ocean that very much could have life. But it is also very much underground. And also, it's not a planet, but a moon of Saturn which obviously changes the game in various ways, as you might expect. So how can we know life and water exists in the underground parts of a moon? Simple, because Enceladus, as it's known, has cryovolcanoes that spray water vapor into the air all the time, some of which escapes into space. The Cassini space probe and other devices studied these vapors and found that they had sodium salts that you would find in an ocean. Furthermore, the Cassini space probe found its gravitational signal, and because of the salts that are in the ocean, that means that the compounds for life are there if things mix a certain way. Which means that to go and find other life in the universe, we may only need to go to a moon of Saturn. Number 4. Ceres and the Impossible Ocean This next one is a bit curious in its own right, because this is not a planet or a moon. It's actually a rock object that fills up the asteroid belt in the solar system. It's the largest object in that asteroid belt, in fact, it makes up a large fraction of its own weight. By definition, it's a dwarf planet and is no larger than Texas, so something like an ocean shouldn't be possible within it, yet it has one. This was discovered by the Dawn probe when it found a bright light on the surface of the planet that is believed to be a cryovolcano. And as we noted earlier, these are volcanoes that go and shoot water vapor into the air from underground. So somehow, some way, this little dwarf planet has an ocean under its surface. Cool, huh? Number 3. Jupiter's Record-Breaking Ocean Jupiter is another planet that we define as a gas giant, and it's the biggest planet in our solar system. But as scientists have learned, while it's gas on the outside, it's very much liquid on the surface. Over 78% of its surface is apparently this liquid ocean, which makes it the biggest ocean in the known solar system. 
Oh, and if you're curious, this particular ocean is over 33,000 miles deep. Not feet, miles. That's a big ocean. The big shocker here is that for such a massive ocean to exist on Jupiter, that would require some serious pressure and chemical forces. And thus, there are only theories as to how this is possible on Jupiter, but it exists. Number 2. Lobster Oceans To be clear, this is not an ocean filled with lobsters. That would be weird. Rather, this is a theoretical ocean that some think exists on tidally locked planets, meaning planets that don't rotate and always have one side facing the sun. Scientists did models based on the theory that such planets could go and hold watery oceans on their surface despite the intense heat and cold. They focused on known tidally locked planets and did a model to see what they would be like. The answer was that they would be elliptical shaped oceans that had claw-like extensions, hence lobster oceans. Now as of yet, none have been confirmed to exist, but that's more about the limitations of our own technology at present versus proof that this just doesn't happen. Number 1. Alpha Centauri BB Lava Ocean World Earlier we showed you a world that is said to be a true ocean planet. Well, here's the opposite of that in a way. In the Alpha Centauri sector of space, where certain planets are said to be potential hotspots for human habitation one day, there is a place called Alpha Centauri BB. This is a planet that is not in the habitable zone of the star in circles, and thus the heat it gets from being in proximity makes it a place where lava and magma are literally everywhere. Its surface temperature is said to be 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is three times hotter than Venus, which is very hot due to the greenhouse effect. Now, because of the fact that we haven't seen this planet personally, there is some speculation as to whether this is real or not. But if it is real, this is another place humankind should definitely not want to go. What did you think of this look at the various oceans that do indeed exist in space? Were you surprised by the depths and compositions that these oceans had? Are you shocked that such entities like these, and possibly even more, are riddled throughout the stars? Which ones would you personally like to go and see one day if you could? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.